we got Peyton Pierce here, another amazing young gun, uh, coming from the great state of Texas. Uh, he's done some 305 stuff down there and is making his way north, uh, doing a bunch of uh, racing here in Indianapolis area, Indiana, and teaming up with some definitely big names in the sport to kind of guide him in his uh, endeavors and you know give him knowledge and help guide his uh, ways. Uh, one of which, Brian Clawson. Uh, doing some work with Brian and Tim and Big Al and you know they're definitely going to give you the best equipment you could ever sit in and uh, what can you tell us about what's happened in the last year or so with your uh, you know trip north and what's happening for the 2015? Uh, everything's kind of come, come about pretty quick we've started running the 410 the non-wing stuff up here in Indy towards the end of this year starting about end of August and now we started this winter we're putting a deal together to run to coin and chili bowl with Clausens and then next year we'll get get everything put together and run running season up here just running like a lot of local stuff with a few USAC shows thrown in there but not not a full USAC schedule okay. yet so but we'll be hopefully be competitive and keep learning in the in the 410 stuff cuz it's it's a whole ball, different ball game than the 305 for sure <laughs> yeah just the uh you know, the Indiana non-wing sprint car scene as a whole is just completely different than anything I've ever seen in the country. And uh, as, as a young person, 18 years old here, uh, entering that, you know, kind of green, it, it's a it's an eye-opening experience, even for him, I'm sure, you know, you know, being out there with Dave Darlin and, um, you know, some of the veterans, John Stambro, and it's like, man, I'm racing next to that guy. And then, you know, probably passing him once in a while. So that's got to feel really good. What are you learning from uh, chasing those old dogs? Yeah, mainly just different different driving styles and just different how to how to handle this much power compared to to what the 305 had and that's <laughs> a couple months ago we actually went to or actually last month we went to Canyon and ran the Hall of Fame Classic and we were actually pitted next to Dave and them and so getting to learn a little bit from them that yeah. week was really neat and of course all the help that Brian brings and he he's taught me a whole lot this this whole year and stuff so it's been Neat just to get gain that knowledge from them and learn from that that much experience that they have compared to the little experience I have. Yeah, that's so. the biggest thing I can uh, ever offer to anybody as far as you know a young person starting up. Surround yourself with the good people and you know proven track records and what they do as far as you know the mechanical aspects of the car. You know they always have solid equipment. You know very few mechanicals if ever. And uh, you know, great handling stuff, and takes takes the pressure off yourself, and you know, focuses on you driving and building your abilities, and that that's uh, really crucial in having any success in uh, making the climb up the ladder. Um, where do you see yourself in five years? You know, you, you want to be a USAC driver, you know, with that that title, or you know, you want World of Outlaw, you know, Cup, you know, where do you see yourself, and what what what's going on there? Uh, honestly, I'm just just kind of take it day by day and week race by race and just see what what doors open along the way and ultimately nascar would be cool but i'm i'm content with running usac and world outlaws because that would be a dream come true to be able to do that for a living and so just pretty much really anything anything i can do racing wise for a living would be a dream come true and would be what i'd be love to do and doing doing it on dirt makes it that much sweeter. Yes, sir. Um, so we wish uh, Peyton Pierce best of luck this year. 2015 is going to be a crazy year for him. Uh, a lot more traveling and uh, definitely running with big dogs up here in Indiana. And uh, hope to spread that joy throughout the rest of the country when you guys travel. Yes, sir. Congrats, man. Thank you.